look super cool with your hair. Can you say hi to your friends? Hi. Hi guys. So today we're finally going to show you guys like an in-depth tutorial on little man's little signature top knot here. We gave him a little bit of a braid up today. So we did this haircut for Zayden a few months ago on Instagram and the video pretty much went viral and I get a lot of requests for people asking uh, for more of like an in-depth tutorial on this. Honestly, I do this haircut at home and I find with kids haircuts, it's a little bit easier if you just do it yourself at home because when they have somebody familiar cutting their hair, it's a little bit more comfortable for them. And something like this is really, really fast and easy. So what I do when I'm cutting their hair is I give them tons of their favorite snacks, even if it's ice cream, anything to kind of keep them still and distracted. But you have to move quickly because you have like a, maybe like I personally with my kids have like a 10 or 15 minute window um, to get their hair done before they're over it. So just move as quickly as possible and keep them as distracted as you possibly can and you can totally do this at home. So when you're doing this haircut for the first time, it's extremely essential that you get the parting correct. The parting is going to basically determine the entire shape of this hairstyle. So you want to start the parting at the highest recession. So the highest recession is these two high points on the forehead, okay? So once you find these two high points, you're going to create a horseshoe shape section all the way on the top of the head, okay? And that's really easy to do. All you have to do is put your finger on the two high points and then you're gonna create a straight line all the way back to the crown. So the best way to find the crown is to lay your hand flat on the top of the head and flat on the back of the head, okay? And that midpoint up top, that is where your crown is, okay? So the best way to kind of find that is to just lay your two bottom thumbs like that and that's your, that's your crown right there. So you're gonna take the high recession all the way down to the crown and you're gonna create a horseshoe shape all the way around and that's your parting and the next thing you want to do is put everything away gel it away smooth it away so all of these flyaways are completely pinned back so I haven't been cutting his hair for the last couple of months because I've been on postpartum recovery so he's been going to the barbershop so you can see that he left some of his flyaways down when he was cutting his hair and it's created this dent and it looks horrible. So to avoid this happening, we're going to sleek this back with gel and sleek it away as clean as possible before we start our haircut. So I washed his hair yesterday and it's just been in a bun ever since. Um, but I'm actually gonna create a couple of braids for him just to keep everything clean and put away. Oh, you look crazy. In the comments down below, I want you guys to tell me what he reminds you of right now. He kind of looks like a carrot top to me. <laughs> I actually saw this hairstyle on Chris Brown's feed the other day and I was like, I'm so doing this for Zayden. So you can just like sleek everything away however you like. So I usually do this by using um, some shea butter. Um, you can also use any kind of wax or styling cream that you have lying around. Zayden, look straight, okay? Look here. Yeah, what's this? Okay, just wait one second. Always gonna create a line. Good job, Zayden. Good job. So we're gonna cover both of the sections with some styling cream. Um, in my case, I'm just using a little bit of shea butter styling cream. And you want these as clean as possible, especially with kids because they move around quite a bit. So we have a center part here all the way back, and you're going to just tie one side away for now and we're gonna braid both halves um, all the way back. So this was little man's first time getting a braid up done and he was really confused by the feeling so I kept having to stop and start again. Um, but I'm basically just creating the braid um, all the way around closest to the horseshoe shape uh, parting. You can also create the braid close to the center part if you like. This is just how I decided to do it. And once you get to the end, you wanna braid it all the way down just so it doesn't unravel while you're braiding your other piece. And the braid is really easy. So you start with a teeny tiny little triangle shaped section in the front and you split it into three pieces and you're just bringing the outside sections underneath the center. So every time you're putting a piece underneath the center, you're grabbing a new piece of hair. So it's left under the center with a new piece of hair, right under the center with a new piece of hair, 
left under the center with a new piece of hair, right under the center with a new piece of hair. And just continue that pattern and try to keep a tight grip on it. I know you can't hold too tight with these kids, but as tight as you can without them getting fussy and just braid it all the way back. Stay still, little man. So once you get to the back section here, you wanna braid it all the way down just so that the braid stays nice and tight while you create your top knot. And then just combine both pieces and tie it with an elastic band. And this looks really dope if it's messy, so don't even worry about it looking sleek. And the last time uh, you go around, just create a loop and just leave it just like that. Good job, Baba. So for his haircut, I just go in with a zero. I used to go in with a one, but I find with a zero, it just lasts a lot longer. And these little munchkins love making sudden movements. So you want to grip their head with one hand as tight as you can without hurting them. And with your clippers, you want to do short, quick strokes. Don't go in with long strokes because you can cut right into the top knot. So just short and quick strokes. And he's usually so chill for his haircuts, but he was definitely in a mood today. So you want to take the clippers right up to the horseshoe shape parting that you created for the top knot and right when you get close to it you want to flick your clippers out and you can see I'm using my thumb to kind of stretch the skin a little bit um, and it also keeps the grip nice and tight. I love you. Okay, so now that we're done cutting his hair all the way around his head, I'm going to go in with the trimmers and this is going to give me a nice and clean finish all the way around the hairline. Say hey, no, let me touch it, okay? Hey, let me hold your face. <gasps> What's this tug tug? Good job. Almost done, almost done. So I'm just creating a straight line right around his hairline. I'm not cutting into his hairline. These are just the baby hairs around his face. I'm just cleaning them up with a nice, like, sharp edge. Do you want to jump through the screen and grab his face right now, or is that just me? Okay, we're gonna clean him up, and then I'll show you guys what's going on. And he's also covered in food, so I think we need to do a little bath, and then we're gonna come back and show you guys the final result. <laughs> so I first shaved Zayden's head when he was about a week old, and he is two years old now, and I've never cut the top of his head. Um, I only shave the bottom about once a month or six weeks. <laughs> Are you super cool? No. High five. Are you super cool? No. Oh. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial with little man. His his attention span is officially over it. <laughs> I kissed your foot. Can I kiss the foot? 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 So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please keep sending me your recreations of Zayden's haircuts. They put such a smile on mine and Ken's face. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see more videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And also leave me some comments or questions down below and I will get back to you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye and kissy. Bye and kissy. Say I love you. Yay.